G'day! Today on the table I've got an Acer Spin 3. As you can see we have a bit of crack screen going on along here. But that is not why I'm opening it up today. The reason why I'm opening it is this particular one hmm, does seem to have a slight bend here. It is in here due to a non-powering issue, but I do want to talk about the potential upgrades you can do on this model. So more accurately, this one is an Acer Spin Spin SP513-52N-581E1, right here. So to begin with, we're going to need some Phillips head screwdrivers, which luckily this particular one uses the standard size, or relatively larger size. So we will just work our way through taking these out. And I'm pretty sure in this model, those screws should be aren't the same length. So despite the obvious fact that this one not powering, even with a couple of different charges being used on there, I'm curious to see what we can actually upgrade in here. So I don't think there's gonna to be too much we can upgrade as these models are fairly all integrated into one. But, may prove me wrong. So fat screws I'm putting up here, thin screws down here. Yeah, and I'm assuming this one here is going to be a thin screw, yes. So, fat, 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 fat. There we go. Now we know which ones are the fat ones. Let's get in here. Now we're going to need a thinner pry tool to begin with. There we go, that will start it. Now I can just use one of these and go across it. And we are in. So sadly, looking here, there's really not that much we can upgrade. So looking at it from a repair standpoint of view, if I zoom this in, what do we have? What do we have? What do we have? Over here, we have a daughter board, which also looks to contain the battery reset button, which is here. On that daughter board, we have HDMI, a card reader, headphone jack, volume up, down, and battery LED, power LED, right here. So we're running across, shouldn't be running across to here. We do have a 53 watt hour battery, which as we slide across is connected to here. I do believe here we have the keyboard, possibly backlight, trackpad, maybe speakers. I'm not too sure on this one over here, but maybe more importantly, here we have a M.2. This one's 250 gig in capacity, which is very straightforward to replace. One Phillips head screw. We can undo. Then we lift up, wiggle back, and we're out. So this one here looks to be a M.2 SATA going by the notches that are on here. But I'm assuming this particular chipset and board would handle a NVMe drive. I just believe at the time this was the more commonplace of drives. You can also upgrade your wireless card, which is located here. Uh, for maintenance, what have we got? We, oh, I didn't miss that we have a power button located over here. Connection wise, fan connection. What else have we got here? I'm assuming webcam potentially, maybe touchscreen, probably webcam. We have the CMOS battery just here, which does look to be pretty straightforward to replace. Going over here, I'd say that is the integrated RAM modules right here. I see SK Hynix on there, which are a RAM manufacturer, so RAM cannot be upgraded. And we have the small, probably 15, 10 to 15 watt processor under here, assumably an Intel one. 
connector for the display and here we have the power cable connector. Now, this is what I want to do. I'm just going to test out the previously repaired charger. So an Acer 45 watt charger I would assume this to be. Uh, let's see the model on here. Yeah, it says 45HE so I'm assuming that particular one is the right one. So now I'm going to plug some power into here, which I'm assuming won't turn on. But before I disconnect here and try a different power... So I'm just going to use my multimeter, stick it under voltage. And from here, I'm purely going to stick this under an earth point. That chassis will do. And I'll just work each pin individually. Is it my earth that's faulty? No, it's the children. Simpsons quote. No, right now I believe it's either A, the charger, or the charger port, which it does seem re really weird that I can see an exposed pin located here. So I don't know what the go is with that. And before I grab a different charger, I will just lift up this hinge and have a quick look and see what we see, see, see. So if I do this, flip that up, probably disconnect the battery while we're at it. Granted, it shouldn't really matter considering this machine, it seems to be dead flat. But just the odd risk, and internet people. So if I open this up, Lift it up slightly, drop it back down. There we go. Now I should be able to wiggle this back. Wiggle it out. So I'm not really seeing any damage to here. So we'll just see if I've got a different charger I can quickly try. The customer did mention they have tried it on a different charger but it's always best to try your own. So one fresh brand new charger, plug in some power. They get no charge light on the side but also there is no battery plugged in right now so that is not a good indication. Hitting power, I'm getting no response. I'll disconnect and reconnect and let's check those connections down here. Uh, use the HDMI as an earth. No, no, no. 19. 19. 19. 19. Nothing. 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 Connect that battery back up. Disconnect the power. Reconnect the battery. Plug in power once more. And I'm now getting a charge light on the side over here. Hit power. No. Disconnect that, put that back into its original location and put that hinge back down and I will connect the new charging or power lead up to it. And hopefully this may live. So just by that, it does seem like their, their original charger that they've brought in is faulty and it is also possible that the second one they've tried on here is faulty. One reconnected display. Good, good. Plug some power in. We are getting a 
charge light right here, as you can see. We'll fold this open. And watch the screw fall out. Hit power. I have backlight on the keyboard. And I have Acer written on the screen. So simply a case of a faulty charger. It's good when they're always that simple. It's usually a good reminder also not to always, always find out for yourself what may be the problem. So being the customer said that their laptop wasn't charging and they tr or wasn't powering and they tried a different charger. Turns out in this instance, if I tried a new charger first, I probably wouldn't have, wouldn't have had to tear this down. But then also you guys wouldn't have got to see the inside of an Acer Spin SP513-52, which as we found out is not very upgradable. You can change your NVMe, you can change your Wi-Fi, you can't really change much else. Now remember, little screws, big screws. And I hope this helps with your teardown of your Acer spin. I'm going to put these screws back in and I'll catch you guys later. Bye.